Back on the show, Kevin McPherson joins us. He is our Hogville.net Hoops Insider. Let's talk Arkansas basketball from the standpoint that they just picked up a big commitment, a four-star, Duncan Powell. Really excited about this kid. And the great thing is this is the first high school prospect to commit during the Eric Musselman era. Kevin. Yeah, we know, we know Muss likes the transfer portal, and he got five of those college transfers really to round out the class of 2019. And so he's been really – hitting it hard uh, on the recruiting trail with the high schoolers, you know, 2020, 2021. And we know that mid-November uh, signing period is coming up for Class 2020. So, But the first one off the board, like you mentioned, that uh, DeSoto, Texas native Duncan Powell, 6'7", six, 6'8", six, forward. Uh, you talk about positionless basketball. This guy can step out and knock down a three. He's got good handles uh, at his size, and I think he's a guy that can play in that mid-post and even down around the basket. So you can move him around and use him offensively in a lot of ways. He's, and like I said, he's got the good length. So that – that can't do anything but help defensively. Uh, but he's really excited. He understands the history of Razorback basketball. I was surprised by that. But when he talked about coming up uh, to Fayetteville and playing with Eric Musselman uh, and, and really looking for an opportunity to get Arkansas back to Final Fours and playing for championships, I thought it was a pretty uh, mature response. But also you could sense the level of, level of excitement. Now, he is from DeSoto, Texas. He has uh, been at Huntington Prep. Uh, which is one of the b better independent basketball schools in the country out in West Virginia. But he told me that early this week he's going to transfer back um, to DeSoto, Texas. So uh, Eric Musman and Arkansas staff reaches into the state of Texas for the first high school commitment of his Razorback coaching era. Isaac McBride, really excited about this kid. I know he just visited Arkansas. He is an Arkansas kid, but he wasn't at Kansas for very long. Kind of take me through that journey. And what are the prospects right now in terms of recruiting? for the Razorbacks. Yeah, I mean, McBride was the 2019 Gatorade Boys Basketball Player of the Year in Arkansas, signed with Kansas in the early period last year over offers from, from the Razorbacks and Virginia and TCU, Oklahoma State, uh, Tennessee. He had a really good offer list, Auburn. Uh, and then, you know, he announced a week ago Friday that he was going to uh, transfer from Kansas. Kind of surprised a lot of folks. Never played a game there. We all know the season's about to get underway. So uh, entered the transfer portal just a few days after that, and he was on campus Friday for an unofficial visit to Arkansas with Eric Musselman, associate head coach Chris Crutchfield, assistant coach Clay Moser. The only coach that wasn't there was Corey Williams. He was on the road recruiting, but McBride went through Arkansas's presentation, uh, got to attend practice, uh, and I, I was told the visit went very well. He's probably not going to take more than uh, maybe three visits altogether. Uh, but, you know, here's a guy that uh, had an Arkansas off for the previous staff that didn't work out and we'll see where this goes we'll see if Arkansas continues to pursue him after the visit and you know if things work out this time around but you know like I said Gatorade player of the year last year in the state of Arkansas so he's a top level you know you're talking about six foot six one guy combo guard uh, one of the best shooters in the country and we've seen what Isaiah Joe's been able to do with that as a Razorback coming from in-state uh, high school level and I think Isaac McBride even though he's not as tall uh, can bring some of that value because he's a volume shooter, but he's very efficient as well. What about October 20th, man? I know you're pumped up like so many Arkansans. October 20th, Hogs and Little Rock, they will unveil Nolan Richardson Court. Yeah, it's not enough just to recognize a legend in a Nate Smith Hall of Famer. <laughs> it's really cool. The first ever matchup. Now it's an exhibition game, and it's for charity, too, for all the flood victims. We know about that back in a few months ago, especially in the Fort Smith area. But the, the monies that will be raised for that will go toward that good cause. But Little Rock and, and, and the Razorbacks played in baseball this last year. We know the, the Omahogs made it back to Omaha, but along the way they got, they got knocked around a little bit, lost by 10 at home to the Little Rock Trojans. So uh, anytime you, the university now is starting to embrace the idea of maybe playing some of these in-state schools, but Arkansas hasn't played an in-state opponent since 1987 in Nolan Richardson's second year when Arkansas State came into Barnhill Arena and almost beat them, and that game went to overtime. So this will be interesting to see. Yes, it's an exhibition. Yes, it's for a good cause. Yes, everybody's happy that Nolan Richardson's having, finally getting the court named after him, but these teams are looking to win and both get better. On top of that, you've got Daryl Walker, the former Razorback great, who's now the head coach at Little Rock. So there's another storyline there. He and Eric Musman's paths crossed for years on the NBA as both of those guys were coaching in that league. Okay. 20 seconds to close. Gene Tall Silla, really excited about this transfer. Just kind of recap media day. I mentioned Silla because he was a good interview. I saw that on Twitter. You talked about it. 
Yeah, he's just, you know, he, he really embracing the opportunity. He thinks that Arkansas is uh, going to have a lot of good days ahead under Eric Musman, but he's also sort of a veteran on a team that, yeah, there's some guys that returned, but it was the youngest team in college basketball last year. So he's kind of showing the ropes, but also talking about how guys are really showing the hunger by getting in the gym, even when they're not expected to. Guys like Desi Sills, Isaiah Joe, Mason Jones, and some other ones. So Sill is excited and embracing the opportunity. Kevin, great stuff as always. He's from hogville.net. Soccer coming up after the break.